Hey guys, it's Tony here from Game Freak Blog again, just bringing you another video. This time we have another in the Game Freak's favourite series, and uh, this game is Wanted Weapons of Fate. Uh, it's kind of based on the film. The, the film came out in, I think, 2008, and it starred uh, Angelina Jolie, uh, Morgan Freeman, and uh, Mr Tumnus from the uh, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which is uh, it's good to see that fawns can still have work uh, going into this. Um, the game came out in 2009, and it was developed by Grin, uh, which are the people that did the uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter games for the PC, and the Bionic Commando uh, rearm that came out on uh, Xbox Live and PSN. And um, it's a, it's a it's a really really good game. If you if you haven't um, played it, I I kind of think it's a bit of an underrated gem as well. I mean, it's it's not brilliant. It has its flaws, um, but the actual combat and shooting and stuff like this, I, I really really liked. And uh, I'm just going to show you one of my favourite levels from the game, which was this level that we're hovering on here, Fear of Flying, where we take the part of um, uh, Mr. Tumnus's dad in the game, and um, it, it just kind of sets a bit of a scene. Uh, on the, just ignore this bit. This is just like the playable characters that you can uh, pick once you've gone through and finished the game and done some uh, uh, certain boss fights and things like this. Um, so we're just going to jump straight into the game. I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you about the controls. The controls are pretty simple. Left trigger, uh, use your zoom. Right trigger, shoot. Um, X, uh, sorry, A, jump into cover. X, reload. B, melee. And the, uh, there's a right bumper as well to bullet time, but I'll show you that in a minute. She was a whore. And she wore army boots. Not very nice. They'll kill all the passengers just to try and get me. <gasps> Gonna need another way of this plane. Hmm. Think, damn it. Think. The cockpit has an emergency hatch and parachutes. And the minibar. So here they are coming to get me guys, so essentially all you need to do, uh, pretty much exactly like cover cover systems uh, in Gears of War and uh, uh, Vanquish, uh, you just hit A and it kind of sucks you into the cover, um, you lean out with your left trigger, you'll start to target the people, fire with your right trigger, um, you'll see that uh, there's little kind of like green arrows that kind of point your route, so if you point, uh, push left or right on the... Um, on the, your left stick, you'll run into that certain bit of cover. Oh, that shit never ever gets old. Um, you'll also see as well the two bullets up in the top right corner. Uh, that's how you can kind of uh, activate your um, bendy bullets. And when it flashes up there with the Y pushing into cover, if you hit your Y, you'll run in slow motion towards that and it gives you an opportunity to kind of knock out a few of the guys um, in a slow motion Max Payne style. -y. So we've just got to work our way through to the cockpit, um, just so uh, Mr. Flinchy can raid the minibar and hopefully try and get a parachute. There's another couple of boss fights that I might actually put up from this game. If, if you enjoyed the video, by the way, just let me know if you want to see any more. There's a couple of quite cool boss fights and uh, another quite cool couple of um, levels. Um, or maybe just sections of the levels that I really, really enjoyed. And uh, as soon as you start getting uh, later on in the game, when you're playing as Mr. Tumnus, you actually find your father's guns that are essentially like machine gun pistols. They fire out like 20 bloody bullets with a shot and when you start wrapping them around corners they have like explosive tips on them and, and you just end up fucking shit up I mean seriously you'll see me screw up a few of the bullet time things here which is it's kind of a bit frustrating you have to kind of hold down your right bumper move your left stick until the the, the curve is glowing white and that's when you've got like a clean line of shots. Sometimes if you get it right, you'll take them out with just one shot if you've got them in the head area. Uh, otherwise, sometimes you'll spin it around the corner and they'll just kind of stagger out like wounded and then you've got an opportunity to take them down then. The good thing that I really do like about this game is the cover system. Sometimes you can run into cover and if there's someone on the opposite side of your cover, rather than kind of having a police squad um, naked gun type fight just pointing the guns at each other you can just lean over and stab them it's, it's pretty awesome that's the last time i'm taking ryanair 
I think I've actually been on Ryanair flights that are, uh, you know, uh, uh, a little bit more um, appetising than this. And that's saying something. So that's the kind of uh, bullet time thing that I was saying, guys. You instead of using your A to run to a cover, if you've got your um, power, if you've got your bullets glowing red up in the top right corner, if you hit your Y button, then you'll uh, you'll run in kind of like slow motion towards them. You'll also see uh, what what I probably just did there, and certain um, certain other little sections later on. There are kind of fire hydrants, um, fire extinguishers on the wall. And if you manage to blow those up like there, um, it sucks the people out of the plane when, uh, if, there, if there's anyone standing next to it, which is a pretty, uh, pretty neat touch. Sorry. Later on, as you as you get through the level and you kind of open up some other sections, you do get up to four bullets in the top right corner. So you can, I mean, literally, you you just plow through them with almost ballet-like grace. It's uh, it, it's quite something to behold. If you haven't checked the game out, I'm sure you could probably pick it up from no, I, I don't know, probably from about five quid from eBay. I just no one I know has, has uh, ever played it. You know, I talk to people about it and they're like, huh. Where's that damn stewardess? <laughs> so as you can see, like, guys, if you manage to sneak up on them and oh dear, if you manage to sneak up on them and uh, grab them from the back, you'll just take them as like a, as a human shield. Otherwise, you just usually uh, end up slitting their throat or jumping and kneeing their face like a big gristly bone hammer. Yeah, that staggered him out. Oh, oh dear. That guy must have no face left. Oh. <laughs> I think there's actually uh, an achievement in the game for going through the entire game just using melee attacks, which uh, I, th I think I'm only about three achievements off getting the... Uh, Timeless. No matter how many times you do that in the game, never ever gets boring. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm about three achievements away from getting the full um, thousand Gs on this on the Xbox, and it'll probably be the first game that I've actually got a thousand Gs on as well. So uh, uh, I might even do, I might even do a playthrough. I might even do a melee play playthrough of the uh, the entire game. Shouldn't be that long. Just uh, four, five. I think it's about six hours, something like that. It'll probably take you to get through it. Maybe slightly longer if you're just using uh, uh, melee attacks. You can't really see it that much in this, but certain levels, the way that the cover's laid out, I mean, you just flip from cover to cover to cover, um, taking everyone out in between. I mean, w once you get, once you kind of get into the flow of the game, once you kind of like um, get your muscles assimilated into it and everything like that, the game really just flows. And I, don't, I, I honestly don't know why it's not talked about more. I mean, the cover system for one is is just fantastic, and uh, you, you know the whole melleeing while you're in cover you know if someone's on the other side you can just lean over and stab them it's uh, it's a really great effect which uh, i'm surprised no one's stolen hello waiter service i have the last parachute cross Bastard. there is no escape for you here why why'd you do it have you asked yourself the same question at least no. would be alive if you hadn't infected her would you see that seed has a name. 
Yes, it's called Milky White Love Peace. Oh, 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 oh. You son of a bitch. <gasps> yeah, I, as you can probably see, guys, it's not uh, it's not kind of based in any kind of natural physics. This game, it uh, does take liabilities, but uh, all for the name of entertainment. Now here's the escape. We've got to try and get back to the car park thing where we started from. This is a bit of like an on-rail section, but cool. So this is just your enhanced sensor. So as you can see there, there's people popping out, shooting bullets at you. Now, if you've, you've got about three, four seconds to take those bullets out and then take the guys out as well. You can see the little countdown there. So you've got to be really quick. And on the harder difficulties, you literally get like two seconds to do it. It's, it's really, really tough, but hella cool. It's my favourite series, a really, really good level. As I said, guys, if you want to see any more, there's a, there's a couple of cool boss fights, and there's another couple of cool sections in uh, some of the levels along these lines. So uh, I'll probably, I may even do a montage because I think they're only kind of like uh, some of the sections are about two, two and a half minutes long. So I may just condense them all and put them into like one bit of a, a, a favourites video there. So this is the end of the level, as you can see, we've uh, miraculously got into a car, rolling down a snowy hill, managed to get out of the plane on time. And it's a good job, because look at the plane. Find the other two it's Mr. Guardians. Tumnus and General Zod. Awesome. Anyway, guys, that's uh, another episode of Tony. Uh, well, this is not an episode of Tony. Game Freak Favourites. I'm Tony. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like, rate, comment. Just give me some feedback. I really appreciate every single bit of feedback that I get. Um, you take care of yourself, guys. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.